how to connect, purchasing Wi-Fi, the types of Wi-Fi that are available, speeds that are available, what are your options, what are your free options, and some bonuses at the end. Let's get into this, here we go. Connecting to Wi-Fi on Delta is super, super easy. Now be sure and watch my other video because if they don't have Wi-Fi or their wi is down or it's too expensive, you want to check out my other video and see all my tips there so you're prepared for that. But for this video, we're talking about Wi-Fi. So when you, when you connect to Wi-Fi on board, you're gonna have to wait to get up in the air most of the time. You can't do it at the gate you'll have your data at the gate. So you'll go to your settings on your, your phone and you'll go to Wi-Fi and then there you'll either see VATSAT or you'll see GoGo -Go Air. Now, right now Delta is in the middle of transitioning all their fleet over to VATSAT. It's a cheaper, faster, more controlled by them option. GoGo -Go Air is kind of disappearing. It used to be the provider for all airlines on for Wi-Fi on board. And it was really expensive. You had to buy it before you got on the plane was cheaper. If you're on the plane, it was more and it was hit or miss. The speeds were really bad and all that kind of stuff. But regardless of what you get on the plane, if you need Wi-Fi, this is what you start with. So click VATSAT or you'll click GoGo -Go Air. Now, if you know your flight and you know your flight number, your flight information, you can usually find out if they have GoGo -Go Air. Most of Delta's fleet has been transitioned since 2021 over to the new Wi-Fi. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, you're probably good to go. It's a lot cheaper, but the prices vary, so I'm not gonna state them on here because it varies on how long the flight is and how many legs you have. And there's also a monthly option of $50 a month if you fly all the time that just covers you flat. And there's a global option for about $60 a month if you fly globally with Delta. So if you're one of those people, you might wanna take advantage of that because that's a pretty good rate to just have Wi-Fi all the time. Now remember, with all the new stuff that Delta's doing with their Wi-Fi, iMessage, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger are all free. You don't have to pay for Wi-Fi to do those. You can't always get videos and images on the text messages, but you can at least communicate with your family and friends while you're on the flight if you don't want to spend the money. Speeds vary by flight and by you know time of year because it's, it's all satellite stuff, so your speeds are going to vary. Delta's working really hard again here to upgrade their products, their hardware, their software to speed up the speed because more and more people are needing faster speeds and access to more and more stuff that takes up more speeds and more data. So that's coming. If you're on one of the newer flights, you probably have that. If you don't, you will get that eventually throughout the year. And purchasing Wi-Fi on Delta is really simple. So once you connect to VATSAT, it's going to pop up a window and let you decide on what your package is. You can just say done and use the free version or you can choose one of the paid versions. If you don't see a paid version here, then you can go over to deltawifi.com on one of your browsers, your Chrome, Safari, uh, Explorer, Firefox, whatever you have on your phone, you can use one of those and go to deltawifi.com. I'll put that link down below in the description and that will give you immediate options to purchase more Wi-Fi if you don't want to use just the free option of messaging. Um, entertainment and like TV and stuff like that is always free. So you can connect to the Wi-Fi and get to a lot of free stuff. You can look through the drink menu, through the snack menu. You can look through TV, live TV, movies, even games, even radio stuff if it's working if it's working and you can do the free messenger when you when you pay for wi-fi on a plane you're really paying to like browse the internet on your laptop on your ipad on your phone you know going to websites checking your email you know, shopping online whatever it is you can't stream like netflix or hulu on the wi-fi that's just going to be blocked because of the speed limit and because of the data limit but you can just browse and do your normal stuff and that's why most people pay for wi-fi i do it so i can stay in contact with the office and with you know the things i need to do and just browse the internet because i'm bored sometimes on the flight um, i don't always buy wi-fi because sometimes it's a short flight and i just don't want to spend the money but and if you watch my other video you can see that there's a lot of other options you can do that don't require Wi-Fi, especially sometimes the Wi-Fi
Wi-Fi's down, which means entertainment's down, radio's down, anything to do is down. So watch my other video. I'll put it right here and I'll put it at the end and I'll put it down in the description. That'll give you tips on how to solve that problem. Currently, the new Wi-Fi is available on 250 routes, three fleets, and 313 aircrafts. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. So you're pretty covered on Wi-Fi. This is normally something you, you really care about on long haul flights is what we call them. So you're going from like Seattle to Atlanta or from Houston to LAX, or you're going um, from JFK to London or Atlanta to LAX or Atlanta to, you know, Japan or somewhere. You're looking for a long flight. We were going to fly Delta from DFW up to Seattle and then over to Japan to Tokyo and so those are to me are considered two long-haul flights anything six hours is a long-haul flight and then when you go from Seattle to Tokyo you're looking at like 12 hours 11 hours I think so that's a long-haul flight there you're gonna like get tired of just watching movies and TV you're gonna want to surf the web you're gonna want to communicate maybe more than just iMessage maybe you want to get on and uh do emails or something like that. So it's really just up to you and why you need it. I just wanted to do a video on this because I get a lot of questions about Wi-Fi on planes. And so I'm gonna do one for every airline, but this is specific to Delta and I hope it helps you. Again, my other video with my five tips is right down below and I'll put it here and I'll put it at the end of the video too so you can click on it. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so, cancel at any time, become part of the Zacchaeus Nation. You're gonna get notified first when I put up videos just like this of honest reviews. I'm not sponsored, I'm not bought out. I just try things or do things or, and wanna help you out, that's what I'm doing. And I call it Zacchaeus, I tried it because I'm just trying stuff and telling you about it so you can see cool stuff, find, discover things that make your life better, fun, more efficient, easier, and products you're looking to purchase. Like right now, you're probably looking to fly Delta. You've got a ticket or you're thinking about buying a ticket and you came on here to find out about Delta Wi-Fi. And I've got a lot of other tips too coming and already live on the channel. So just hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified first when I put up great videos and you might get surprised, you know? I love seeing your beautiful faces. I hope you have an amazing flight and amazing trip. Delta is awesome. And I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.